Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and uh, uh, today we are going to go in a funeral. I found that there is a rat and the rat was in the trap and it's a very sad moment. Please take a moment of silence. It just to be remembered. He was a good rat. There is beautiful moments we need to remember. He is the one who used to say, No CP. We will not hear it no more. No CP. It doesn't say that CP. <laughs> You know, in China they say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. In our case, he left as a rat, he came back as a rat. Look what this guy is saying, a challenge to CP fans. He's challenging the fans, not me. Man, that's a challenge for you. Oh, hold on. I don't have my screen on. So I have to play the music again now? Hold on, because we are doing this in his memory and there is no picture of him in the screen. He was very good. His beard is growing. Mimi Hijab, he needs his assistant. Allah, he pray for, not to. I know this is coming. He doesn't speak Hebrew, he doesn't speak Arabic. Silence me. Answer me. <laughs> Allah has parts? Who said so? <laughs> no, CP. It doesn't say so. No CP. Well, it's good to remember good things and bad things about people. And here, there's nothing bad about those people. I mean, it's it's. Um, look at this challenge. This Mohammedan saying, and he have a big mouth. Well, it's a mouth of a rat. A challenge to CP fans. Uh, let me try to make it more clear. Hold on. Uh, by the way, I don't really go to, I'm not going to his channel, but uh, one of you, he sent me a, a, even a, a snapshot of his uh, post uh, because I think he will delete it sooner or later. It's like yours. Unable to provide. This quote from Fathil Bari. But surely... You can help him. And guess what? The one who take a snapshot, he is the one who look in the internet and he said to me, I'm not even reading your stupid text, you idiot. I mean, you get yourself busted. I mean, it take you two seconds if you are a person who knows about religion and you speak Arabic to find the quote, you donkey. Everybody will be dying laughing at you. Just wait. I will show the quote in the screen. Try to find the quote. No CP. It doesn't say that CP in Fathil Bari. And I will take this video down and make a public apology. Okay, we will make a public apology for being what? A donkey or a rat. Please make it clear. Now he have to make a public apology as a rat and as a donkey. Because how you are a Muslim and you have a shelves full of books, those are shelves for what? Do you read them really? Is the book of... Uh, 
ابن حجر in your shelves feel to do so which he which you will and then be aware that your savior incompetent incompetent that's a good word man that's that heavy duty off is that off or or off I'm, I'm not sure i'm trying to read it yeah i think he's nervous so his uh, his text is coming his english off a cough a off a off uh-huh okay okay anyway it's english that could not get the first paragraph of his book right <clears throat> ah. ah he is calling me an animal ah. and this is why christian prince he put his picture there in the in the screen you see the rat in the trap you see they have too much hatred for me because i'm causing a lot of pain and they went mad and their mad is making them so stupid more and more and more now let us see first what this idiot he just did himself first of all you donkey i was not quoting fathul bari i was quoting different book and just to show everybody that you you don't know english you do not know arabic this is my book in amazon as it is anyone can go there it says here and he said that here it says uh, Imam Al Hafiz and Ibn Hajar. First of all, this is a mistake in the editing. Secondly, you will see that I said said. So if I believe there are two, not one person, then why I say that he said said, not they said. All right. Secondly, you said that I am quoting Fath al Bari because you are a donkey and you do not know how to read. I said quotation from a book that Ibn al-Bari, he said, so, sorry, uh, 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 Ibn Hajar, he said, etc. And this is the name of, the, this is the book, and this is the page. But you idiot, you did not even look. Ah, maybe you look, but you are a donkey. This is the name of the book. Sharh al jami al sagheer volume number one, page number 282. Value number one, page number 282. So this book is quoting Fathul Bari, donkey. Secondly, you made the challenge that such a thing is not exist in Fathul Bari. And you claim that you are going to make a public apology if I can provide the quotation. I don't want your apology. I want everybody to ask you why you don't dare to call me. What is missing? Aren't you a man? Look what you said. But surely, surely what? You can help him. Try to find the quote in Fath al -Bari. And I will take this video down and make an, a public apology. I'm saving you now. I don't want you to go and make public apology. I want you to be a man and call me life on air and challenge me, you idiot coward. And this is the reason, actually, you don't dare. Because you, in, you are intimidated. No, CP, I want to fly to you and debate you face to face. I mean, everybody knows that. I don't, I don't, I'm not, you're not even worth. You see, I'm giving you a chance, an honor to talk to you. I talk to everybody. I talk even to young Muslims, kids, even, you know, very naive ones and every, very smart one, educated one. So I will take you with the children. Call me, be a man. Instead of making a hundred video, they are just a, a bunch of jokes, you know, talking to yourself. And here we go. This is one example, one example of them. If you have a little, little intelligence and little uh, uh, knowledge, you will not make this challenge. Now, let us go to business. Forget about the rat. Is this quotation, quotation exist in Fathul Bari? Absolutely. 
But before we go there, this is the book I was quoting from. It's called At-Tanweer Sharh Jami al Sagheer. Qala ibn al Arabi. And then he continued here until he arrived. This is my quotation. وقال الحافظ ابن حجر في فتح الباري قالوا كل من اتقى الله كان أشد شهوة وأعلم etc. So this is the quotation. So you see he is the one quoting the book of Ibn, Ibn Hajar you idiot. Secondly you challenge that this quotation does not exist. If we go down here in this book you will see the quotation. This is the book of Fatih al-Bari value number one Page number 379. And for sure, the page number can change the bent in the print. Now, let us show you the book in English, my friend. Because now we are showing you in Arabic. I'm going to translate in the front of you. Click translation. Here we go. The translation is not good. You know, I mean, for the name of the book, but who care? This is Google translation. If we go down here, do you see the book of Fath al-Bari, you idiot? It's exactly as my quotation in my page. It says in the book of Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar, he said in his book Fath al-Bari, etc. That you're a prophet, he used to do boom boom to his wife, all of them. The translation here is not, uh, you know, and he have at that time nine wives. So he used to do boom boom to his wife. He go around and he boom boom to his wives. And there are nine wives, all of them in one night or one day or a day. You say this is not true. Here we see the reference. Fathul Bari, value number one, page number th uh, 379. Now, this is what I quoted. But is this book is exist in Fathul Bari? Absolutely. Let us show this idiot who brought humiliation to himself. If you do tiny search in the internet, you will find the text I'm quoting. Here we go. Fathul Bari. I mean, why you are stupid? Are you blind? You can't see? Let us use Google translation because here, the problem with those uh, when you open Google Books, you cannot translate with inside the you know it's like a PDF thing. So let us do this. We will take Google browser and we will translate whatever there. Google translation. Read with me carefully, you idiot. Fathul Bari fi Sahih al Bukhari, value number six. It says, uh, the translation here, uh, that your prophet was a cruising. Yeah, he's a, you know, he, he have a cruise ship, you know, zzz, on his wives every night, wash, without wash, he's doing them without wash. And they were 11 women. Do you see it? Do you see it, you idiot? He do large intercourse, large number of intercourse. The Prophet, he do large number of intercourse. And he was, a, however, he was a cruising on his wife's. This is what uh, uh, this idiot, he was making fun of my accent, supposedly. Uh, he do do brother uh, intercourse. So you are stupid, officially. All those references in, in, in Fath al-Bari, you did not see them? And you are saying you will make a public apology? You are a certified donkey. I don't want your apology. It's enough for me that you humiliated yourself. This is the book of Fathul Bari, your donkey. This is what? The book of Fathul Bari, your donkey. I'm not going to call you any name except donkey. Open. And this is the quote, you donkey. Do you see it? Do you see the page number? 
It's exactly as it is in my book. You donkey. Do you deserve to call you any name after today except donkey? We will not call you Farid. We will, we will call you donkey. I mean, shame on you, stupid. Just before you make this challenge, just go and search. I mean, do you think really somebody will make a book and someone who would like, like, like me, put his reputation and like say things that exist? I have the page number. I have the book number. I have the book name. I mean, you're stupid and still you could not find it. What I will tell your mom now. What I will tell your, your daddy and your mommy. That I did spank you and you were not wearing the diaper. How will I explain the situation? They left you as Farid. You turned to be a rat. So like you want to play hero in my back. Making videos supposedly exposing me. Be a man calling me. But you cannot. You're a potato. You're a coward. What will happen if you call me? Honestly, what will happen? You will lose your virginity? And all the excuses is a lie because I made a video, I said, though if I hang up on him, I am the one who lost. Did I say, guys, did I say that? Call me. If I hang up on him and or mute anyone who hang up or mute, he is the one who lost. Still, he don't dare. However, don't call no more. It's okay. No problem. I forgive you. I forgive thee. I mean, I thought I thought you are a fart. It turned to be a, di a diarrhea. Diarrhea is a problem. We can deal with the fart. We open the window. But what we would do with diarrhea? And not only that. I mean, you are challenging me to show you the quarter from Sahih, from, from Fath al-Bari. When I can show it to you from al-Bukhari, you donkey. Stupid. This is in the book of al-Bukhari too. <clears throat> Here we go. All those hadith. And not only that, those books providing to us reference that your prophet, even he don't wash, he wash only once. He do boom, boom to all his, all his wives and he do one time wash after he finish, which is an act, action of a pig. Because who in the world want to have sex with all those women in one night and yet he, he, he have only single bath. Hmm? So the challenge was for what? Except your stupidity. As you see, all those hadiths are supporting the same thing. So we found it in Al-Bukhari. We found it in Ibn Hajar. We found it in, 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 in Jami al sagir And we found that you are a stupid rat. Look how many of them. And not only that, by the way. This book here in the front of us, the one I'm quoting from, it says here that the prophet, uh, he have the power of 4,000 men. Why? Because he got the power of 40 men, of people of uh, uh, heaven. And, and each one of the people of heaven have the power of 100 men in earth. And that's mean 40 x 100, that 4,000 men power for sex this is what the muslims are proud about about their prophet penis while the christians are proud about jesus healing people the muhammadan are proud about the penis of their prophet and allah he promised him that his penis will have the power of four thousand men let us do google translation so people will not say and this is from the same book i'm quoting from page number 282 look with me hmm. page 282 I will look translate in the front of your eyes. Translate to English. Oh, there's no translation. Or why? Maybe I need to open, click here. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Four thousand men. The power of the horny Muhammad. Praise be to Allah, the God of horn and horny. He will get the power of 40 men, which is equal to the power of 4,000 women, men. What kind of religion this religion is? How embarrassing. So look what you did. You embarrassed your prophet because you got him busted. 
You get the attention from my book, and now everybody will go and buy buy my book, Sex and Allah, because people will wonder what kind of book this book are fighting about. In the top of that, you showed us that your religion is a sexual religion, one hundred percent, and this is why I called my book Sex and Allah. We call it Sex and Allah for a reason, for this is nothing but a sexual book, sexual religion, sexual God. I mean, what? Why God want to give Muhammad the power of four thousand men? What he would do with it? What exactly he would do with it? Okay, he got the power of 4,000 men now. So what he, he is going to F what? 4,000 women at least? Because if a man, he can do it only once. I mean, uh, if a man only do it once. At least he, he's a Muslim, brother. Muslim can do it more, brother. <laughs> so if Muhammad, he do it only with it, uh, uh, let us say, if a normal man, he can have sex at least, uh, let us say, tw twice a day or three three times a day. Muhammad, he will get the power of 4,000 men. That's mean he will get the power, he, he will have sex at 12,000 times a day? I mean, how many seconds a day have? Hold on, let me use my calculator. Calculator. 12,000. Huh? <clears throat> Divide in 24 hours. Your prophet is going to have sex with 500 women an hour. Your prophet is going to have the power of having sex with 500 women an hour. Okay, hold on. If 500 women an hour divide to 60 minutes, that's mean your prophet, you have eight seconds only to have sex with each one of them <laughs> even a rabbit he cannot do that man eight second your prophet will have orgasm in eight second before even he say hi so look what you did to your prophet you brought humiliation for yourself People are laughing at you. And you prove to us again that you are stupid. Is that my fault? No, it's not. I'm not going to stay long. Please don't mention this stupid idiot again to me, please. Don't text me about him. I mean, he's not worth it, as you see. He's just a kid. I feel sorry for him. And, you know, uh, let us take a moment to remember. No CP. It doesn't say that, see. <laughs> I challenge you. I'm going to fly there to humiliate you. I'm coming to you. Do you see my beard, the beard of a goat? Very long beard. Proving knowledge. And now, Christian Prince, he whipped the floor with your beard. If not the bum of Mimi Hijab with it. Al Fatiha. Alhamdulillah. Okay, guys, I will be live again in, in uh, I think, in an hour and a half, right? An hour from now? What what time? I'm not sure, like an hour and a half, maybe an hour from now. Yeah. Um, download this video. We will not keep it. It's not worth it. Share it everywhere. Let everybody laugh. And I don't want him to make apology. I mean, apologize to yourself. Apologize to the Muslims for being stupid, and they are being stupid to listen to you. That's your business, not my business. I don't care you make apology, you don't make apology. But I advise you to take and to go and see a doctor because obviously you've been abused. Uh, I'm not talking about child abuse now because you're a man. And don't claim that I did child abuse to you. I never met you before. Okay, I have nothing to do with you. And don't uh, make any uh, statement which is not true. Okay, don't go to mommy and cry and tell them it is that beat me. And I did not even touch you. This is internet. You did that yourself. And now you are in the trap and everybody is laughing at you. Shame on you being stupid. Don't ever even say my name again. You are not worth it. Thank you, guys. I will be live again. 
and uh, don't forget to download the video all right we will be alive maybe an hour or so uh, check the the second video when it's going to be i think it's going to be uh, around 11 o'clock right something like this yeah anyway uh, so see you again and the video will be uh, why muslims reject and fight islam thank you and god bless you and uh, uh, please you can uh, send the uh, flowers uh, to the address which uh, our brother will provide for you uh, for remembrance of our brother who by mistake wasn't trapped by the rat trap at him walking down the street la 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 uh, okay anyway take care guys see you soon and this is a christian prince i love you all i love the muslims by the way but those idiots they are just making making fun of you muslims i feel sorry for you those idiots they, are, they have no education they do not know what they are talking about and nothing they say but embarrassing embarrassing to their islam embarrassing to their religion and not only that they give us golden opportunity to expose your false prophet who you are proud about his penis imagine we are proud about jesus making the blind see the death the dead one come to life you know the one who cannot walk walk and the Muhammadan are proud about the penis of their prophet and they claim that this is a miracle it's a miracle their God miracle is all about penises and by the way Muhammad he could not do it even once this is why he exaggerate about how many times he can do it all those people who have problem especially sexual problem they exaggerate about their power because simply they speak about it because of pain and this is the story of a brother Farid he exaggerate in because of pain a lot of pain is caught to him by Christian friends if you don't believe me watch me thank you Christ is Lord and see you soon again bye bye